Hello everyone, it's Lydia and I have a project share today. So these are the guest design team projects for Craft Supplies 1. I will have links down below to Julie's Etsy and Zibit shop where you can find beautiful laces, trims, embellishments, all kinds of goodies at great prices. And let me show you some of the things that I used on my projects. So I played with some vintage buttons from that were gifted to me by Deb Thurn. I keep them in this bucket. It's cloudy and raining, so my lighting is not the best, guys. Sorry. Um, I'm also pre-recording this, so if there are any sales at um, Crafts Place 1, the information will be down in the description bar. I used a Martha Stewart punch, heart punch, and some pearls from Craft Supplies 1. This beautiful wide crochet lace from Craft Supplies 1. And this banner uh, piece that I received from Marla H. Marla H. Thanks, Marla. And these are by Pebbles. So I used one of those on my handmade card. I used the papers are 6x6 six Farmhouse Paper Company. Um, this was gifted to me by Lori. Thanks, Lori. And the name of this collection is called Fair Skies 6x6 six six Paper Pad. And I just thought it had some pretty, um, like, country prints and colors in this collection. So I'm going to use that script paper. And I used the check, this check paper right here, and some of the green paper. And I also used a dish towel and pot holder from the Dollar Tree and I folded it like this. I'll show you what, what our, what's my project looks like in a second. I'm sure you guys are so curious right now. And I got this idea from Dollar Tree Crafts, I think is her username. I will link her tutorial down below. It was really simple to make. You just need a sewing machine. Now my sewing machine is like a craft sewing machine. It's not a, a good fabric sewing machine. So instead of sewing, I had to use some fabric washable glue which is just fine with me and I purchased this really cute rooster towel at um, Dollar Tree like I mentioned and all you do is you sew it down the center and then you pull to gather it and then this is where you add your pot holder and you sew it onto the towel and the idea for this is to wrap it around the handle of your oven and then here's where I added a beautiful vintage button that Deb sent me Wrap it around the hand handle of your oven and then it's not going to fall off your handle. Which I have a problem with my husband's always knocking the towel down onto the floor. So that's going to solve that problem. Isn't that cute? And then this is where I sewed the beautiful crochet lace from Craft Supplies 1 and I did it on both sides. So that's um, my altered kitchen towel and then I made a card to go with. And... My base is a corrugated card. Well, I think these are five and a half square. And then here's my card. The image I found on, uh, I went on to Pinterest and then I just, um, in the information bar, I typed in rooster, vintage rooster image and this cute guy um, came up. So I just printed him out. I used black so to distress my image, the banners that I hand cut from the script paper, from the paper collection. And then I also popped out of these I used some natural twine to make some bows on the banner. I have some more um, twine here, more twine here, make some bows. Here's the white trim from Craft Supplies 1. There's the check prints from the paper collection and here's the banner, it says hello. I don't know if I mentioned I popped out in my image. All of the flowers are from Craft Supplies 1. I added a bit of black soot on the white roses and then I tucked in um, pearls here and there and then these flowers she has in several colors. These are some of my favorites. And also here I added a snippet of the wide lace. I just cut a piece, added it there, and another button from Deb. Thanks, Deb. And then on the inside, it's really simple. I just added some paper from the paper collection. And this is uh this paper here is recollections. And then with the Martha Stewart heart punch, I punched out my um check prints and added the heart there so isn't this a beautiful card it took me forever to make I think that's why I make like the inside really simple but it turned out really pretty that's my project share for today guys head on over to craft supplies one and check out her goodies thanks for watching everyone post a comment if you wish subscribe and have a fabulous day bye